Hello there and a very good evening to you. I hope you had a lovely day today, despite it being pretty warm, the hottest day of the year so far. A bit cloudier than uh, this evening and uh, tomorrow morning. Then the sunshine should break back through again to looking nice for tomorrow and Wednesday. But we have then from Wednesday night through to Friday morning got the risk of thunderstorms heading our way. There's a bit of uncertainty to, as to the location, so do keep an eye on the forecast. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday was actually the warmest day of this year so far. You've heard us saying that almost every day recently, but it won't be today. We reached 29.7, almost 30 degrees in Teddington in Greater London. Now, it's not going to be as warm today in London as it was yesterday, but it will be a wee bit warmer for the rest of the country. Now, the other thing worth mentioning today are the pollen levels. If you have an allergy to pollen, levels are very high or high across England and Wales, lower moderate across Scotland and Northern Ireland. The front page of this morning's Times has this beautiful image of paddle borders. This is taken off the coast of North Norfolk. Sounds a bit partridge, doesn't it? And uh, what was the hottest day of the year, as Carol's been telling us so far? Bathed in bronze is the caption, which is also partridge. <laughs> North Norfolk Digital, do you want to play that? Are you auditioning? Oh, no. I think I have been for a while, Louise, as you well know. There's nothing accidental about our partridge. <laughs> do you look at the inside pages? Good morning, both. Good morning to you, too. It is lovely, Lou. It's beautiful sunrise in Londonderry in Northern Ireland, sent in by one of our weather watchers, Archie. The work you're doing, though, it's not a quick fix, is it? We, we, we're looking at decades, aren't we, here? We are, we are. I mean, we talk about habitat restoration but it's more creation now because of so much damage has been done because of the fires so it, it is going to take a very long time for, for the, the ground to recover up there. What can people do to help out? Well people can can make sure they're not having barbecues uh, or flicking cigarettes or leaving any kind of glass bottles on, on them or taking all the litter home with them if they can. If you see a fire report it 999 because we don't we don't want that to spread. You want people to enjoy these spaces, don't you? We do, we do. We want people to enjoy themselves, we want people to go up there. You know, this is access land, people want to go up there and, and have a good time, and we do encourage that, we just need to make sure that they're careful, uh, especially around fire. And very briefly, what are the next steps here? Next steps, uh, so there's more work to be done, a load more work to be done. Um, there's something called the Great Northern Bog, which is an initiative for a lot of conservation organisations in the north uh, through Yorkshire Peat Partnership again, more for the future, but again, more work like this, not just here, but on all of the moorlands in the north to, to can restore our blanket bogs. Johnny, thank you for joining us this morning. Well, the message from the National Fire Chiefs Council, uh, very clear. They want people to enjoy themselves and uh, come up here and enjoy the beautiful countryside, but they say there's a time and a place for uh, a barbecue, and areas like this, well, they are certainly not the place. Good morning. We're starting off with a fair bit of cloud in some parts. That will break. There'll be quite a bit of sunshine around today, but a weather front will bring some rain into the northwest later. Warmer for most today than yesterday, except the southeast, where it will be a little bit fresher. I'll have all the details coming up. Good morning, everybody. Look at this Weather Watchers picture. How beautiful is this? Sent in this morning from one of our Weather Watchers in Tor Bay. So some of us are off to a lovely start. Beautiful sunrises around. There is some cloud around this morning, but generally speaking, that will break up and more of us will see some sunshine. And in the southeast, where it was so hot and humid yesterday, it will feel fresher, but it's going to feel that little bit warmer for the rest of the UK. It's a cloudy start for some of us this morning, but that cloud will thin and break. And for most, it's going to be dry with sunny spells. However, there'll be some rain coming in across western Scotland and Northern Ireland. But for most, it'll be warmer than it was yesterday, except the southeast, where it won't be quite as hot. I'll have all the details coming up. So Carol's got another glorious view for us. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's some cloud around this morning, you know, but through the course of the day, that cloud will thin and break and most of us will have a dry and a sunny day. Feeling fresher in the southeast compared to yesterday, but not that much. And you've got a special picture as well, haven't you? That's right. Good morning, everybody. If you remember this time last week, I invited you to vote for your favourite Weather Watchers picture of the season and we were talking about spring. Well, you did in abundance and thank you so much for voting. There was an amazing selection to choose from. Any of the final 10 was a worthy winner, but this one is the one that you chose. It is a beautiful picture. Look at all the colours in it, the way it's set out. And the winner is actually Noreen's Ireland. So thank you so much for voting and well done. 
to you, Noreen. And if you want to be a weather watcher, it's not too late to sign up. So go ahead and do it and you'll find us using them on a daily basis across the BBC.